Now, man, I'm curious, you know, you would think that by now your theme would have been put out of business. Why do companies <laughs> continue to create such effortful experiences? It seems like by now everybody should know that too much effort is a very bad thing. It's funny, uh, Roger, you know, my, I remember when I wrote the book and I gave a copy to my mom and she said, are you telling me companies don't actually understand this yet? Uh, that that this is what customers want? And I said, you, you know, you'd be surprised actually. <laughs> the, uh, companies companies t think you want something totally different. Uh, they think you want to be wowed and excited. And she said, well, you, they don't do a very good job of that either. <laughs> so it's it's one of those things that everybody knows about. It, years ago, I was uh, going to speak at a conference, uh, sort of an elite entrepreneurial conference. And uh, I said, well, I'm going to talk about friction, uh, wasted effort. And they said, oh, no, no, everybody knows about friction. Now you got to do something else. <laughs> so, you know, it's like uh, if everybody knew about yeah. it, it seems like we'd have a lot better better experience. On that point, it's an interesting one. I, I, my sense is people, uh, companies do know about friction. I, I think what they struggle with is a couple of things. One is they, they don't know really or don't appreciate the impact it has on customer loyalty. But I also think that they don't really know how to fix it. You know, the real I remember... Years ago, um, Roger, we were, you know, we were talking recently about an airline experience you had. I was presenting to one of the big airlines uh, in Europe, and I remember putting up on a screen all the drivers of customer effort, like repeat contacts and channel switching and repeating your story over and over again and getting transferred or escalated and, you know, these kinds of things, being forced to jump through hoops. And uh, and the, the head of the group, the customer service group, kind of started laughing. And I, I was thinking, of course, you're laughing. You're an airline. You enjoy doing this stuff to your customers. But that's not why he was laughing. Why he was laughing is he said, you know, that's our project list. That was our project list last year. Those are our priorities to knock those things out. And by the way, that was our list the year before and the year before that. And I'm pretty sure it's going to be our project priority list next year. Like, tell us something we don't know. The problem is we don't know how to fix these things. Uh, so I, th I think that's... I think that's probably more the more the issue I run into with companies. Right. Probably uh, it's difficult too. I mean, they may know how to fix them, but fixing them is expensive. I mean, I'm sure that that's right. Uh, these yeah. Airlines are uh, running on legacy code in a lot of cases, and uh, they can't really uh, change the website easily. Uh, yeah. Without fear of breaking it and such. Uh, but yeah. uh, it's uh, it's an, so it's difficult to affect change. In fact. I, I just did a, a workshop for an Austrian company in New York City, and the a leader in that group who was not uh, at the highest executive level in the org organization uh, said, in our company, uh, fighting friction is a high fr friction experience. <laughs> Meaning yeah, well, well that said, yeah. that there would be a lot of resistance to oh, making yeah. change uh, that would change, change the variables that we want. Making to. things uh, easy is hard, it uh, turns hey. out. <laughs>